Hey guys, what's going on? Mike, Fieldcraft Survival, here in the 1991 Vanagon GL Volkswagen van. Uh, these things are awesome, but it's appropriate that I'm in here talking about the Fieldcraft Survival Mobility Pack slash go bag. I want to give you guys a more intimate look behind the why and why we design the equipment that we design. It's important that you innovate life-saving equipment always. When I looked at equipment and special operations and how it evolved, it did so rapidly because we were at war. We're still at war. So when things are rapidly evolving, they're trying to stay ahead. And a lot of equipment that I've seen in the civilian market that is life-saving is not really innovative and there's nothing progressive about the way that it's evolved. So let me define the why for you. This Philcraft Survival Mobility Pack was designed by myself about four years ago from a concept that I thought of a decade ago. I had a buddy of mine whose wife and himself were tragically killed in a vehicle accident. I was the first responder on the scene and I tried to save his life. One of the things that I remember about that incident was having to run back to my Jeep and resource life-saving equipment that was a first aid kit that I carried on the back of my seat panel. The seat panel was made for a Jeep. It was Molly attached, which means you take a pouch, you take the Molly proprietary means of attaching it, and typically that's not easily removable. So when I went to the contents, I couldn't pull the pouch and run to his aid. I unzipped the general purpose pouch, which is a GP pouch, got all the contents, and then ran to his side. Look, there's no way that I could have saved his life, the injuries that he sustained. There was nothing that I could have done, but I tried very hard to partition that kit and I remember spending a lot of time. In tragic circumstances like catastrophes, accidents, whatever it may be, you don't have time. And so when I looked at the panel pack that was Molly attached, I went, man, that could be done better. So what I did was I designed this bag. I put it together. I flew to Chicago to a manufacturer. First USA, because I wanted it to be manufactured in the USA. And I stitched everything together and had a prototype, a working prototype, in a couple weeks. That's evolved to where we are today. This bag is the latest generation of our panel pack. Uh, it's called the Mobility Pack, but it has 0101. That stands for first series or first gen, and then the first product in that series. So that's important to note because I want people to keep track of how the equipment evolves. Now, I'm not gonna release another bag within a couple months, but I'm always looking to improve and upgrade. This is the third generation of our bag in the last three years. So a couple things that we did was, one, it's PVC material, which is, it's, it's like Hypalon material, and that material is water resistant, uh, not ultimately waterproof, it can be waterproof, but it's not waterproof because of the zippers, but it is weatherproof. So rain, snow, sleet, heat, whatever it may be, uh, it's protected. Uh, I like it in this form factor because this could be mounted to the back of the seat um, and then zipped up to, to hide the contents where a passive observer is not gonna see that you have a whole bunch of cool pouches on the back of your seat. So let me unzip it for you. Two zippers that come down. I actually designed these zippers to be a little larger because in a stressful circumstance, you don't have a lot of very minute tactile function. We refer to this as fine or gross motor skills. You're not thinking about grabbing a small zipper. You wanna be able to grossly grab this and pull it away. Whether that's blood, dirt, grime, austere weather, this is why we made it big. That's, that's the attention of, of detail that we paid uh, when, when making this bag and redesigning it. So as we open this, this folds this way. I'm actually gonna turn it around and then show you how it looks neatly folded. But it's designed even in the stitching to fold a certain way so it can be neatly dressed so it actually looks good on the back of your vehicle. One of the things I thought about in how this applies to everyday life is it has to fit the form and function of how you live your life. If this is super inconvenient and super ugly, then you're not probably gonna implement it into your life. I also didn't wanna make it look tactical. 
Molly is generally associated with tactical, which is this loop here. But I aesthetically, I wanted to design it to more of a civilian specker bag. So as you can see, it rolls up neatly at the very bottom and then has all the pouches in the sections, which I'll talk about. So th what this would do, would this would attach to the top of your headrest, which is adjustable. And then the back straps here come undone. And this goes around the bottom of your seat to make sure it's adhered both top and bottom. So these sit flush against the seat. And then the presentation, as you see it, would be just like this. So what's cool about the setup here is I use Velcro. Velcro is very durable. It adheres very well um, and can be used to leverage the ability of you to pull the pouch full of medical equipment or survival equipment or life-saving equipment, in this case, rapidly. So ripping away the pouch, I could go to the casualty or say to whoever I'm with, hey, go to the Red Cross pouch and grab that for me because it has life-saving equipment and it's pretty easy to find. Same zipper concept on the zippers on the pouches. And one thing we did, which was different from other years, is we reinforced this to be stiff on the back end. That way you could retain more weight and it doesn't sag the pouch. I mean, this is fully loaded with med equipment. Um, it actually weighs a pretty decent amount. If I adhere it just like this, you could see it doesn't sag. It retains its position. So, Ripping this away, this is med. One of the important things that we wanted to do is push and educate you and carrying medical equipment in your vehicle at all times. But two important factors is one, you should be able to reach that from your seat. So if you're the driver, you should be, be able to reach across to your passenger behind and rip that away to access it. And if you're the passenger, you should be able to do it on the driver's side. That's because if you're in an accident yourself and treating your own trauma, it doesn't help you to have an aid bag in the back of your trunk. That's super important to, to consider is how you will be in the event of an accident. I'm thinking worst case scenario, upside down, hung up in my seatbelt. How are you going to be able to access this? That's why we have the visor panel, but that's also why we have the mobility pack that allows you to access it on the back. So a good rule of thumb is med survival, and then all the additional accessories that you need. This is a very large pouch that allows you to carry life-saving equipment. In this case, a whole bunch of extra med stuff for your family, but again, can be taken on the go. So the Molly portion of this is meant to retain all your Molly accessories because a lot of people still use Molly, whether it's tactical pouches or in this case, our outside the waistband tourniquet holder and a tourniquet. This is a pin from North American Rescue to mark uh, casualties and a pair of trauma shears that you can readily access to cut seatbelts, to cut clothing away, to treat trauma, whatever it may be. So you have the option to do both. One thing I added was more rigidity in the actual panel so that it forms better on the back of the seat. Because if you're a parent and you have kids, and those kids are sitting and they're looking at this, you could zip it up so they don't have access to it, but you could also use this to put your accessories all over this, even for the child. I mean, these could carry your goldfish. Uh, this could be your first aid kit. I wouldn't compromise that, but you get the point. There's a plenty of room for accessories. So let's put it back together and then let me show you the, the reason that we designed this bag. So not only is it a panel pack, but it's also a go bag. So all I do is, Take this piece, remove it. This comes unfolded. And simply take it on this side. Take the straps that were just going around the bottom of the seat, disconnect it, and then simply connect it. To the shoulder straps. So now I have a low vis go back. And the reason that's important, I think the reason this is important is because 
your vehicle is most likely the way that you get around. And that is a very good thing to have uh, in considering bugging out from a bad circumstance to a better one. I like bug out rigs. So if you have a bug out rig and all your life saving equipment is in that rig, if you have to disconnect from that rig, if you have to go on foot, for example, because you ran out of gas, how are you getting life saving equipment on your back? And unless you carry a backpack that's separate and a go bag in your trunk, then you're not going to have that capability. Well, now I could disconnect the panel and take life-saving equipment with me on the go. But also, in the worst case scenario is not only the only factor, but I want to implement this into my life and lifestyle. Because that's not the only means to carry this equipment. If I'm going camping, if I'm going hiking, if I'm doing anything that's breaking away into an austere environment, you need to take life-saving equipment. Well, why not take it on the go quickly with this go back? The reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because it's important to define the why. This is a multi-purpose, multi-functional piece of equipment that not only can be used for the worst case scenario, but could also be leveraged to live your lifestyle of preparedness. If you're not getting outside, if you're not getting in the outdoors, then you're not having fun. So why not do it prepared? So I hope that helps. If you're interested in picking up this pack, you can go to philcraftsurvival.com. Make sure you check out our premier content on philcraftsurvival.locals.com. And until next time, stay alert, stay alive.